In this tutorial, we're going to go over the schedule record tab and the configuration screen. So the first thing we need to do is click the configuration button here and then click OK and then click the schedule record tab. This section here with audio that says audio, you can ignore this section for now. This is only applicable to customers who have purchased our four channel with audio uh, DVR card. And we'll explain, we'll explain this section in a different tutorial for those customers that have purchased that card. So for those who have not purchased that card, you can just focus on, we're just gonna focus on the camera section here. Uh, and this actually, this is, the camera section is applicable to all cards. So even if you have the four channel with audio card, this, this is still relevant. Um, in this section, you can apply different settings to different cameras. So, for instance, we can select camera one here, and any settings we make in this section are going to only be applied to camera one. So, for instance, uh, you, you have three choices when it comes to record mode. You can record continuously, you can record only when motion is detected, or you can choose not to record at all. Uh, just to go over this briefly, we'll go ahead and leave this at continuous and we'll say begin time is zero, end time is 23. This is in military time. We'll keep all the days of the week selected and then we'll click the set button here. You'll see the grid fill up with the letter C which stands for continuous. What all these settings mean uh, these settings mean that for camera one, the DVR is going to record 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's always going to record camera one. Now, let's say we want camera two to only record when motion is detected. We'll select camera two here, go to record mode, select motion record, begin time is zero, end time is 23, keep all, all the days of the week checked and then we click the set button the grid fills up with the letter M and now those settings are applied to camera 2 and as you can see if we go back to camera 1 here we'll see the camera 1 settings we click camera 2 we'll see the settings for camera 2 so you just you just make these settings for each camera like camera 3 is blank we'd have to go here and make you know the the appropriate settings and and so on now there's a, a shortcut here. There's a shortcut here if you have, uh, let's say you, you have 32 cameras, you don't want to have to go through this, you know, individually for all 32 cameras. Let's say you want all your cameras to be set to motion record. Um, we can go here and we will reset the, we, we'll clear the settings, and that's what this reset button is for. Okay. So everything is back at its default for camera one. We can choose motion record for the record mode. Begin time is zero, end time is 23. Select all the days of the week. Click set. And here's the trick. You click apply to all cameras here. And now all your cameras are gonna have the same settings that you apply here to camera one. Camera two now has the same setting. Camera three has the same setting, camera four. And this would be the case, you know, no matter how many cameras you had. If you had 32 cameras, you know, in one fell swoop, you will have applied motion recording to all your cameras for 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And once you've done that, you have to always remember whenever you make changes to any settings in, in any of these tabs in the configuration screen, you always have to click apply and then click OK. Now we're in the main screen and you'll see camera one here is green that means that camera one is detecting motion and it's recording if the motion stops it's going to stop recording and that's it that concludes the tutorial on the schedule record tab and the configuration menu